How's it going YouTube? Ace here and today we are going to be reviewing The Weeknd's new album that came out this year, After Hours, which is his fourth album. But without further ado, let's get into this review. <laughs> After Hours is The Weeknd's fourth studio album ever released, which was released a few days ago on March 20th, and has 14 tracks. After Hours contains the tracks Alone Again, Too Late, Artist to Love, Scared to Live, Snow Child, Escape from LA, Heartless, Faith, Blinding Lights, In Your Eyes, Save Your Tears, Repeat After Me, After Hours, and Until I Breathe Out. Alongside Drake and Travis Scott, The Weeknd is one of the greatest rappers of all time, of this generation. And especially since he is one of the biggest R&B rappers of all time too. When I first heard about The Weeknd, I started to listen to his, one of his first albums, Trilogy. Which is basically chapter one as of like, his entire chapter of albums but i first heard trilogy which was a collaboration of his mixtapes that was the silence thursday and house of believers later i started here listening to many of his his later music beauty behind the madness starboy and my dear melody and just seeing the weekend with messy hair a red suit and black sunglasses it's pretty weird to see especially since we don't expect a lot from the weekend and when he looks like this he looks super different way different from all of his previous like appearances from the weird hair he had back in beauty behind the madness to his just his hair cut off like a it's kind of like a fade Kind of like a juice box fade, but but turned around a little bit, or kind of. It's kind of like Zayn's hairstyle. But the album overall is it has that '80s vibe. It had it gives you chills throughout every track you listen to, even if you have already listened to Heartless, Blinding Lights, and After Hours, and maybe Scared to Live before it was released. And even after three years of returning from making a um, EP, My Dear Melchemy, he still, he still has his style. He still has the greatness that he always had from Starboy and his previous albums. And just like the backstory of like how his, like his life that is, um, that's just explained in some of his songs is returned, of course, because it's mainly about him and he just wants to entertain people with his music and all the instrumentals and he's just his, just his rap in general. Overall, After Hours will be one of the greatest albums of 2020 and one of the biggest albums out there of this decade now. Yeah. 